Hello YouTube, my name is Josh and I want to welcome you to our channel. So Flickstick is all about game streaming and cloud gaming and today we're here to talk about VR game streaming. So we're talking about doing this with an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift. So normally those two headsets have to be connected to the computer with a long annoying wire and that wire tends to get in your way, it gets tangled up and it really breaks your immersion. So we're going to talk about a product called TPCast that allows you to stream those games from your gaming PC to the headset without the wires. And we're gonna show you how to set that up specifically for an HTC Vive. So it is game streaming, it's all about compression, it's about using specialized equipment to get the job done. And we're gonna show you exactly what's involved. We're gonna give you links to get it all if you wanna try it for yourself. And we're gonna show you how to put it all together. So let's jump right into what you need. So TPCast was kind enough to send us one of their kits for the Vive so that we could test it and show it to you guys. Now their approach to game streaming is a combination of both hardware and software. So when you buy their kit, you're going to get a bunch of pieces of equipment. So you're going to have a PC transmitter, you're going to have a receiver that goes on top of your head, you're going to have a special router that handles part of the wireless signal, and you're going to have a bunch of cords and things to put everything together and a battery. So you'll see all that stuff in the box and we're going to show you what to do with it all. Um, really the first step is getting the PC transmitter and the router connected. So the PC transmitter is real simple. All you're doing is you're disconnecting the junction box that came with your headset. So this is the box where all your tether cords plug in. You're completely disconnecting that. You're not going to use it when you have TP cast. And you're going to take their PC transmitter. You're going to connect your HDMI cord to it. So the HDMI cord that's connected to your graphics card and you're going to connect your power cable to it. Now you may need an extension cord depending on where that needs to end up going on your wall. I know for me I did. So I've got mine, I'm looking at it right now, it's about eight feet up and I needed a cord to extend the power for that, but it looks great. It needs to be installed in a spot that has a clear view of your play space. So for me, it's right up there on the wall, it's pointing backwards where I like to play. So that works perfectly. The other thing that you might need in terms of customizing is a second network adapter. So like a second ethernet card. Otherwise, their instructions will prompt you to connect a cord from your computer to their router and then a cord from their router to your normal router. So their TPCast router would sit in the middle and all your network traffic would have to go through it, which is not ideal. Honestly, it's not. And for me, especially with all the other game streaming stuff that we work on, I don't want to direct all my traffic through that. I've already got enough to deal with. So what I did was I installed a second network card, kind of like this one, in my computer and then I ran an ethernet cord from that second card to the LAN port of their router and then powered on their router and that worked perfect. I didn't have to change anything else. Their router is already pre-programmed. All you have to do is physically plug them in and you're ready to go. And outside of that, the rest of the setup is just about the headset itself. So it's about disconnecting that long tether cord and then wiring up their receiver and their proprietary cords and then bringing it all together. So that's what the next part of the video is all about. We're going to start off by removing the tether and then we'll show you how to connect their cords and their adapter.
and that's really it. You're ready to attach your battery, so it goes at the bottom side of that cable. Um, for me, I just put the battery in my pocket, but they do include a belt with a holder, so if you don't have a pocket that's handy, you can still play it without that, and you're ready to just start gaming. So let's take a look at a little bit of gameplay that I recorded using the headset so you're getting a good example of what the latency is like, how smooth the motion is, and I can tell you from experience that it doesn't feel any different from having the tether, except now I can go anywhere I want in the room, there's nothing tangling around my feet, and it's a really flawless experience. So take a look, let us know what you think in the comments, and until next time, my name is Josh, and you guys have a good one.